All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you my top three post FX settings you can use in Tarkov for the best visibility and uh, spotting players easier. And then we can start on the graphics, actually, because there is some settings here that can make it easier to spot people. And that is shadows on low makes the game like brighter overall. And then sharpness. You can do sharpness here. I'm going to talk about that later. But I would suggest using this sharpness instead of the one by post FX. But yeah, post FX, then you press visualize. All right, so let's start with brightness. Pretty straightforward. Brightens the game. But I would suggest keeping this on either zero or go down even more. Because I'm going to show you later how you can brighten up your game in a much better way. Saturation. I also keep this down a bit. Like this is personal preference. I'm not saying you have to have exactly these, you know. I like the colorfulness more. So I, in my opinion, saturation is, makes the game too green. Um, so I keep that on minus 10. Clarity. You should avoid this because that removes FPS. But you can see the difference it makes. It makes like the game a bit clearer, a bit darker, but in a good way. Color finesse, I keep mine on 80. And here are the two sharpen alternatives that I wouldn't suggest using because they tank your performance a lot. You should rather use the sharpness in the graphics tab instead. And then here, now I'm going to talk about the three best post FX color gradings. First one is Owl. This is standard. It's not really changing a lot. You see, it makes the game like dark blue-ish. I like it. I really like it. Keep it on 50. And then the other one I like is Montreal. I've used this, this one a lot. It makes the game purple slash pink instead. I wouldn't suggest keeping this on 50. I remember when I used this before, I had it on 30 or like 30. Yeah, 35. Just to make the game a bit, you can see. It makes the game a bit more fun to look at. And then the last one I would suggest is Shield Wave. It just pretty much darkens the game. And you might say, why the fuck would I want to make my game darker? But this one is something you should only keep on max like 25. It just adds that depth to the game, which is really nice. But yeah, the ones I use is Owl on 50, 0, 0, 80, 0. Minus 10, 0. And let's move on to some Windows settings, shall we? Alright, when you're at your desktop, this is only for NVIDIA users, but I know if you have an AMD GPU, there should be like so some kind of a similar program to change this, what I'm gonna change now. But you go to adjust desktop color settings, turn up digital vibrance, that's pretty much color finesse in, in the game, but just even more. And changing these will change like everything you do on your PC. So keep that in mind. And here, Gamma. This is what I want you to use instead of brightness in the game. It's normally on 1. I keep it on 120. You might want to keep it on 160. I mean, it depends on your monitor. Yeah, 120 is good for me. And when you're turning up the Gamma, I would also suggest turning up the contrast. Otherwise, the picture will get a bit washed out so like there's not a lot of definition to it and what i mean with that is like the blacks get blacker when you put this up which makes the game look better and you can see people easier in my opinion so yeah i hope this helped you if it did leave a like and subscribe and i see you in the next one bye bye